Hey guys, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that fits stupidity with cement shoes so we can go swimming with the fishes. Last night I was on the internet and Sleeping Warrior was on Planet Walk's open debate. So I know I've got Sleeping Warrior week coming up starting May the 20th. I thought I'd go over and have a little play with Sleeping Warrior before that all kicks off. So um, enjoy. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. <laughs> Blogs, just from relatively credible-looking citations, right. and let's see what they say. You said you would you would accept an EDU link, right? Sure. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. Okay. I've seen, I've seen one book. Um, it says independent variable. An independent variable is a variable you have control over, what you can choose and manipulate. It is usually right. So what unless you're Doc Planner, Planner, unless you're Doc Brown, you can't, you can't yeah. manipulate time, can you, right? Yeah, can you let me finish? It says, it is usually what you think will affect the dependent variable. In some cases, you may not be able to manipulate the independent variable. It may be something that is already there and is fixed, something you would like to evaluate with respect to how it affects someone, something else, the dependent variable like color, kind, time. No, they're not independent variables. What? They are literally not independent variables. Color, what, what did you just say then? Color what? Uh, color, kind, time. Right, color, kind, time are not things that you can manipulate. If that's saying that you can, you don't have to manipulate the color, kind, time, that's not a credible citation. Well, I could... Oh, right, so you're deciding what the credible citation is and what uh, actual, you know, we're allowed to accept as a credible citation because that there not is really. science directly... It, direct. No, no, no. Well, well uh, science seems to be whatever citations you decide it is. Whereas he's just directly presenting you with a citation that says something else, and I can go and get a whole bunch of citations that are completely oh, right. credible that so say time is always right. an independent variable. Now we have the problem. No, 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 with Sleeping Warrior, you're the one that has the problem. No, no, you're Craig, the one that science... has the issue of comprehension. The words are right no, no, there Craig, in front listen, of you. Craig, Craig, listen, science seems to be comprehensive. Where would that be? Sorry? Like I said, if you listened, you'd hear what I said. I've been speaking slowly. I, some, something cut out there. I didn't quite catch what you said. Science what? Science seems to be contradictory. Why might that be? Oh, no. Science most certainly doesn't seem to be contradictory. What the problem is, is your comprehension of what things are being said. So um, there is actually really? no contradiction. I understand in science. independent <clears throat> Craig, what, what Well, you clearly don't because Craig? time, it can be an independent variable. It can't. You can't manipulate it. You must be able you to You don't manipulate. need to manipulate an independent variable. That is not yeah, something you, do, you, you need. You can't prove cause if you can't manipulate it. I'm Craig. sorry. You've got to wiggle but it. No, that's not how it works. You don't have to physically wiggle that's it to be, have it as an independent variable. Works. No, works. Sleeping Warrior, I'm sorry. Your, 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 your limited understanding and very, very strict definition of what is allowed to be an independent variable isn't correct just because you keep demanding it is. An independent variable I keep is exactly it, what it says there. And it's an independent variable, time, when you're using it, is always an independent variable. Always. So you claim. So, so you claim. No, so, you so, no, 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 no not so I claim. That this is you what is listen, a fact listen, and it listen. is what is defined by science. Uh, Ray, right. and I'm, I'm sorry, but you are someone that has zero knowledge of science and you are trying to argue against what science is. And you know what I've got coming for you, don't you? You know exactly what I've got coming for you that is going to disprove <laughs> every little bit of shit that you've ever said. That's only coming on the 20th and we're not at the 20th, are oh, we? So let's not distract, oh, yes, let's yes. stay on We're topic. not at the 20th yet, but everybody here knows exactly what's coming because they've all seen the teasers. They right, know so the let's interview not that talk I've had. About something that's not happened yet. <laughs> let's talk about what oh, we're talking about. I'm sorry, about. but I'm going to play Great. with my little toy. It's fun. So I just want so, to play um, with one, your little toy. And what, 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 what's an actually, independent variable, Craig? I have to mute everyone. Time can be an independent variable. No, it can't, you moron. You can't control time. <laughs> in time, independent variable, it's a variable you have control over what you can choose Craig. and manipulate. It's usually you what you think will affect the dependent variable. Work. In some cases, you may not be able to manipulate the independent variable. Right, we need some in moderation. Is is it ready there and is yeah. fixed. Yeah. Something you would like to evaluate with respect to how it affects something else, a dependent variable like color, kind, and time. 
So I'm sorry, but the citations that everybody can find completely disagree with you, Sleeping Warrior. Then you can shout um, Blue Murder as much as you want about what you think an independent variable is, but you're wrong because time is an independent variable. Is it acceptable to speak over me every time I speak, plan or walk? I was, I was actually about to address um, that because um, to start off with there, I could not hear, I could not make out what any of what anybody was saying. So uh, can we please just, you know, try and... Um, take turns. Yeah, take turns. We take turns. Can we agree yeah. that we take turns? If you don't talk over me, I won't talk over you. Okay, I agree. Also, also I just turns. want to say that we'll only be going for about 10 more minutes, so we'll try and wrap it up, okay? In, did you say 10? 10. Like, um, ten, ten. For anyone not, not New Zealand, that's 10, one zero. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, yeah, okay. can you define yes. for me, with a credible citation, what is an independent variable? Yeah, I did that just now. I read it to you. I couldn't hear you. What is, define an independent variable from a credible citation. An independent variable is a variable you have control over, what you can choose right, and manipulate. Control over time, Craig. What you think will affect the dependent variable. In some cases, and you may not be able to manipulate the dependent variable. Yes, you can have control over time in the sense that you can wait for something to happen. Therefore, that is controlling the time that something is taking to happen. It isn't controlling, so, Craig. Yes. Oh, no, so you can't not... control time, Craig. Yes, you can. And it, as it says in the citation that I was just reading you, that time can be an independent variable. And anyone in the time audience can do that. Uh, Sleeping Warrior, you talking over me, we agreed we wouldn't do that. All right. Anybody in the audience can right now just go to Google or anything and just type in, is time an independent variable and see what comes up. And everybody will see that there are thousands upon thousands of citations that say that you are wrong, but you won't accept them because they are not citations that you think support your particular version of reality. Are you done? Yeah. Can I, res can I respond without interruption? Yes. Thank you. Also, if you go to Google and search for independent variable and look up credible citations, you will also find that your independent variable must be manipulated. If you're unable to manipulate your independent variable, it downgrades into a correlation only. If you find contradictory science, that's a problem because somebody is not being consistent with scientific method. Not my problem if they're not being consistent, but it is my problem if people claim that time can be an independent variable, because we all know that unless you're Doc Brown from Back to the Future, nobody can manipulate time. So it's not my problem, it's not our problem, it's not Flat Earth's problem, if we can't get consistent for consistency from science, because if science appears to be contradicting itself by saying on the one hand, time can be an independent variable when you Google that phrase, but on the other hand, when you Google independent variable, it says that you have to manipulate it, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? So you have to work out for yourself, what is the definition for independent variable? And I would say, don't look at blogs, don't look at things like Forbes, look at actual EDU citations, and look at three, four, five, ten of them and see what the theme is. Then you can make your own mind up. And if science contradicts itself, that's a bit of a problem for me. I'm done. Okay, well, um, yeah, time is a independent variable because actually the, the definition of an independent variable isn't just something that you can manipulate. It's actually something that you can change or changes on its own. Um, and no, that not. is actually what you get when you look at the educational no, side not. of learning about you're interrupting me. I didn't do I gave you the respect of not interrupting you. So please don't do it to me. OK, um, when you actually look at the educational definition of what an independent variable is, you are taught that it is something that can either be changed by you or change over time um, and unless you want to argue with the current syllabus that's taught to most high school people then you know that that's fine but we all know how that goes when you try to argue with syllabuses and so, so Craig, in that way i haven't so finished so independent variables are most certainly um you know time most certainly can be classed as an independent variable because it is something that changes and can be observed to change so in your very, very strict definition of what you think an independent variable is, is very, very wrong. Um, and I, I actually have an entire video about this specific thing prepared for Sleeping Warrior Week. 20th of May, guys. Don't, don't miss so it. Sleeping Warrior Amazing. Week, you're having a laugh. So, oh, so no, no. Think... Do you wanna, I'll tell you guys what's in it if you no, want. No, 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 no. You've had your turn. Let me respond. If you think that things that are beyond your control can count as an independent variable, I want you to give, let's apply what you've just said, and I want you to tell me what's the cause in this, in this instance. 
for every every day for the last 10 years there's a rooster that cock that crows every morning before the sun rises you make the assumption that this, the, the rooster is causing the sun to rise because every single morning the sun rises just after he finishes crowing don't know why but he seems to be causing it so you can't control the rooster crowing but you go outside with your shotgun you blow its head off but the sun still rises was the rooster the independent variable craig um let me think i'm just trying to make it sure you can't take my words wrong so the only thing that is changing there is the independent the variable so yeah the rooster so you what you're doing there is you are um using that experiment to eliminate one of the causes and so um yes you could say that the rooster was the independent variable and by uh taking the rooster out of the equation you have you know successfully concluded what the cause is not because of course the idea of science is not to um prove something it is to disprove other things which is the reason why you have to have no hypothesis is when you are creating an actual hypothesis okay, so, so just um yes to, to clarify what you are saying what i would do because i wouldn't just make that assumption and i don't think any sane person would you would go outside and you would say right i have an hyp a hypothesis that the um the, the sun is rising because of I'm going to say the earth turning. My null hypothesis is that the rooster is the cause for the sun rising. Now, no, um, that's I'm, not a, that's not well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm not, I'm talking, please don't interrupt. Nope. Uh, I'm, I'm talking, no please don't interrupt. Wrong. No, I am very, very no, not. No, 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 no. This, this, no. Uh, no hypothesis is the opposite. Exactly. No, you know, hypothesis is the uh, opposite. No, great. No, no, wait. Okay. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on with what I'm saying because no, you, you, you're my, lying. My, my, no, let's get the null uh, hypothesis no, correct. No, no, and my null hypothesis is the rooster. So I do an experiment to eliminate the rooster and find out that no, that wasn't the cause. So my null hypothesis has been confirmed and I can carry on right. with the actual hypothesis of what I was but looking at. But you didn't at. prove Earth turn then though, did you? No, what? but what I did was that what I wasn't trying to prove Earth turn. What I did was I disproved that it was the rooster causing the sun to correct. rise. So you applied your null hypothesis, correct? Yes, that's exactly what I just said. Right. So that therefore means that your rooster was not your independent variable. It didn't cause the effect of sunrise, correct? So what was the Wait. independent variable, Riley? You don't know. You haven't established it. You activated your null. Okay, hold you, up, you up, tell me. Up. You tell me. I, I think that uh, Sleeping Warrior, you've got it massively wrong because um, what you've got there is you you've confirmed your null hypothesis you thought that maybe the crow was or the rooster was causing the sun rise you go out you bro the you blow the brains off the rooster and you find out that it wasn't causing the sunrise so yeah in that case your rooster is definitely your independent variable and you've confirmed your null hypothesis no 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 no, no. you've activated your null hypothesis and proved that it was not the rooster that was causing it the rooster, the rooster was the independent variable yeah, but it didn't right. cause. Do you, how do you not get it? this? No, you, that's no, 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 that's no, 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 no. Your independent variable is your presumed cause, right? Your null hypothesis is the opposite. It's your negative result. It's your failure. So if you activate your negative, you know that you haven't got an independent variable because it didn't cause anything. So Craig was yeah. right. The null was activated. Uh, Planner walks wrong. No, because I would never make the assumption that the rooster was the the cause. I would. But you think that the that, Earth that, turn that, causes the sunrise and the sunset? Yeah, that's that's my hypothesis, and my null right, hypothesis so would gonna, be the rooster. How are you going to prove it? How are you going to prove Earth turn? Oh, Bob did that for me. It's cool. <laughs> Bob, who did what? Bob Nodell proved the Earth turn. He he did it fantastically. It was great. You do understand that Bob Nodell didn't do anything. Somebody else did something, but it wasn't Bob, right? Well, I, I guess you could say that the, the entire documentary lied, but um, millions of people have seen the opposite. So it's cool. No worries. And don't worry. It's, no, no, it's, it's not cool. Uh, it's can, not can cool. We keep, it's confidential. Not cool. Between us. No, no, no. It's not cool. You said that Bob proved it. It's okay. Bob didn't prove anything. Mm. The only person that might have proved something was a guy called Rick. Do you understand that it wasn't Bob now? Uh, well, I saw Bob present it, so I'm going to say Bob proved it. And Bob said that he did it. Bob said that he encased it in a bismuth chamber or blah, blah, whatever. Bob said that no, he, he did this and that. So um, no, I've, I've watched the documentary and so have millions of other people. So, um, yeah, and... Bob didn't say that. Well, so your ability very to much recall did. what was actually said is questionable because Bob did not say mm -hmm. that he put it in a bismuth chamber. Oh, he, he said that they tried to. He implied that Correct. he was part of the they, whole operation. They. Okay. Yeah, they being the and, operative word, they, Riley, not him. The, regardless of who did it, 
what happened there was the Flat Earth community, led by FE Core and Bob, used a ring laser gyro to confirm that there's a 15 degree per hour shift of the Earth turning. No, nope, that's false. Is... That's not what happened. It I'm is, because millions of people saw it. No, it wasn't Bob, and it wasn't FE Core, and it wasn't a ring laser gyro. Try again, cool. or I'll correct cool. you. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the documentary, so millions of other people, it's cool, no worries. Yeah, it was a fiber optic gyro, and it had nothing to do with Bob. Oh, well, or Bob FE very Core. much said... If Bob said the words ring laser gyro. Those are the words that he, he used he in said, documentary yeah, Bob, to describe what right. it was. It was actually a fiber optic gyro. Bob gets yeah, Bob ring laser lying. and cool. fiber optic gyros mixed up. Oh, cool. Well, I'm just going on what Bob said. So um, is Bob lying about everything? Right. But Bob didn't say he did it, did he? No, well, Bob said we. Correct. First we, off, not him. Yeah. First off, I've just right, got to so say. It's not Bob. So let's just be clear. Bob didn't. Regardless shit, of whether right? it's a ring laser or a fiber optic gyro, it measured a 15 degree per hour shift of the Earth. All right. And right. it so doesn't that measure the, the light around variable, it. Wouldn't, Craig, wouldn't that be the dependent variable, the effect? Did it, did it or did it not measure a 15 degree per hour shift? Yes, it did. Wouldn't that be the and, dependent and what, what variable? Does that, what does that indicate, Riley? Wouldn't answer my question. No, yes, I, you ask, I'm asking the questions right now. What does that indicate? No, no, no. There's a 50 answer my question shift? or answer my no, question. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of getting bogged down in semantics. Hold on, I'll, I'll answer the no, no, no. question. The, um, the so, fifth... Let me ask you the question. Let, let me ask it again. Yes, it measured 15 degrees of rotation. Is that the dependent variable? Yeah, 15 degrees of rotation is the dependent variable. The independent variable Correct. is the um, amount of time. That's why we've got 15 degrees of rotation per hour. No, no, no. Hang on. Stop, stop. Let's see if Craig agrees. Craig, do you agree that the 15 degrees of rotation was the dependent variable? Do you agree? Yes or no? I agree with what Planner just said, yes. Great. The second part we'll now deal with. What was the cause of the 15 degrees of rotation in an hour? The amount of time that we waited for it to happen. No, time can't be a cause because time isn't anything. We construct time. What's the cause? No, time. Of time is time. We don't construct time. Time is a thing that is part of physics. We don't. It's our time is not. What causes fifteen? Uh, no, no. What, what, what we? No, you're you're wrong. What caused the fifteen degree rotation of hour is the fact that the Earth was spinning. Um, How do you uh, know it was the Earth you know, spinning? Well, be. Because that was what it measures. The uh, that's how a gyroscope it works. It measures. Break. No, it doesn't. No, no, that, it that's complete light. and utter bollocks. That's complete and utter rubbish. It doesn't measure light. It measures yeah, something it happening it measures the inside the gyroscope. By light moving. Yeah, Craig, you're in, wrong. inside the gyroscope. Right, it's based on the Sagnac effect, which is to do with the it's fact based that on what's happening and it measures I, the talking, interference of light. I'm talking. Yeah, within the gyroscope, Riley, not around it. Within yeah. the gyroscope. Yeah, not so momentum. What, what, uh, the, yeah, no, no. Not so momentum, what's happening? Let, let, let me talk and please stop interrupting. Right, what's happening? Well, get it right the, then, so uh, I don't have to interrupt. No, I'm trying to educate you because you never get things no, you're right. You're not trying to educate. You're misrepresenting yes. statements. No, I'm facts. trying to educate you because you don't know anything. So if you will be quiet for one you second and listen, facts, I will Craig. educate you. Oh, that, that's, no, no, that's keep the facts absolutely accurate wonderful. and we won't have yeah, to Yeah, I will keep the facts accurate and you don't need to okay. interrupt because you don't know what So what does the fiber optic gyro is. measure, Craig? The fiber optic gyro right measures... A, it me what it measures is an interference pattern in the light inside the gyroscope because Correct. something is moving, right? Right, not, not outside because something's moving. Riley, Riley, stop talking over me now. Light Riley, because the light is moving. Riley, stop talking over me, okay? No, what get it, it right, measuring, Craig. If you stop talking, I will. Sleeping Go warrior, on, you're like a child. So what's being measured? Okay? Now be quiet while the adults talk. What's being measured is the interference you, pattern. Craig. <laughs> now you're going to listen. What is being measured, Craig? Uh, if you're going, if you're going to listen and let, let the adult, uh, let the adults talk like actual adults, that'd Quit be fantastic. With the ad Quit with the adults. Yeah. Answer the questions. What's yeah. being measured? Now, stop interrupting me. Uh, I'm glad that people are watching. What this. is being measured, dickhead? Uh, now you're going to be quiet and let me talk like an adult having a conversation. What is being measured, Craig? Okay, now, why, I will explain once more. What's being measured is the interference pattern created by the fact that light is coming back at a different point in time because something has moved. Correct. Sorry, not point in time, because something has Correct. moved within the gyroscope. No, not so, something has moved. Not You've just said that it's the that light within, that's being measured, the interference of yeah, the light. The interference pattern of the light within the gyroscope because the Correct. time taken for the uh, light to travel ha has now, reduced. Now, answer me this, Craig. Rate. Now, I'm talking. I haven't finished explaining, right? The light, the I don't time need, taken for the light to travel. Nobody needs any more explanation. 
Right, does now it I'm measure? Gonna, I'm going to explain it anyway. So what happens is the, it... the it measures the interference pattern in the light because the time taken for the light to travel back along one of the paths has either been reduced or increased because of the you know the rotational speed of what's happening on the physical gyroscope no. moving. So no, it, because no, of that, it, it measures measure an interference momentum, pattern Craig. within the light. I, I didn't no, say it measures wrong. momentum. I just said it measures the interference pattern based on the physical movement and therefore the not physical movement. In time. No, 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 no. You've got it wrong. Yeah. You're misunderstanding. No, you've got it Let wrong. me correct you. You're wrong. Let me no, because you. you don't correct anyone. You don't educate anyone because you are a moron. Um, now, so you I, have just you. I have just educated you as to what the Sagnac effect is and how it, uh, it works. Walk is deliberately stopping me from reacting. How am I deliberately stopping you from reacting? No, no. He's saying that I am, even though he's attempted to completely talk over me for the past two minutes. I'm trying Riley, to correct you. Uh, on you the no, you can't correct me because you don't know anything. You I can can't correct you. You can't even shite. comprehend the well, words. Well, stop him from okay. talking. For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is you each get. I'm going to put a put a timer up, and you each get one minute to um to have cl um, closing statements. I'll um, thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I'll now I'll give you one minute, um, and then after that, um, that will I'll end up the uh, stream. So I'm just going to bring up a timer, and when the timer reaches uh, zero, um, timer one minute. Uh, all right. And hey, Walk, thanks for letting me come on and get some more, um, you know, uh, footage for Super Mario Week. Yeah. That was nice of you. Okay, so Riley, um, three. Two, one, one minute starts now. Bob Nodell did not do anything. A guy called Rick did. He used a fiber optic gyro. It measures light interference applying the Sagnac effect. It does not measure momentum. That is the problem that we have because we accept that 15 degrees of rotation of something is causing the 15 degrees of measurement. The question that we have is what is causing the measurement? It's false to believe that the fiber optic gyro measures momentum. It simply measures light. We observe that the stars appear to be rotating above us. Einstein says that the stars are not rotating above us. It's us that's rotating. Fiber optic gyros do not measure momentum, but mechanical gyros do, me do measure momentum. They do not show 15 degrees. Fiber optic gyros measure light, they do show 15 degrees, and we do observe lights above our head moving at 15 degrees. The fiber optic gyro does not show what's moving because it doesn't measure momentum. Anybody okay, that claims that time's Bob up. proves them is wrong. And um, fight the flat earth, you also get um, a minute. All right, are you ready? Thanks. Three, yeah, ready. two, one, one minute starts now. Yeah, everything he just said about gyros was completely wrong, really. Um, the, the, the Zagnac effect is what I explained it to be. Um, so the literal thing that it's measuring is the interference light, uh, interference patterns of light inside the gyroscope, nothing to do with what is outside of the gyroscope. There is literally no way like that it could ever register the light from the sky with the stars moving. Um, so uh, also talking about physical gyroscopes, I already showed you a f um, mechanical gyro compass that actually works um, and does exactly the effect that we expect it to based on the gyroscopic precession that we would expect with a 15 degree per hour shift. So both of your points, they're completely blown out of the water. Um, this was a lovely prelude to Sleeping Warrior Week. I came on here and got to play with a toy quite nicely. Thank you. Fight the flag, fight the flag, fight the flag, fight the fight the fight the flag.